This is Toshiba TDP S8. It's not working. When the power cable is plugged in, the yellow light should go on, but it does not. The problem is in power supply and can be repaired by replacing the bubble capacitor. There is only one screw that holds the casing together. Now gently remove the top cover. Disconnect the top cover from the main board. Loosen two screws holding the top cover shielding. Remove the top cover shielding. Unscrew two screws holding the main board. Unplug three connectors. There are more connectors on the board, but it is not needed to unplug them. Pull out the main board together with the back input output panel. Do not forget to disconnect the third connector. Now the main board can be turned over. There are two smaller boards here. I think the first one is the lamp driver board and the second one is the power supply. Unscrew two screws holding the lamp driver module. Pull out the module. It is connected to the power supply, so do not remove it yet. The power supply board is secured with four screws. Just unscrew them. Also unscrew these white connectors from the black bracket holding the power plug and remove the black bracket. Release the white connectors and unplug them. Now I plug three connectors from the power supply board. The power supply board is now free and can be extracted from the housing. This is new capacitor that I want to solder instead of the original. It cost me just 91 cent. You see that the original one has bulbed. Now I solder the old capacitor and solder the new one.
I have finished soldering in my new capacitor is bigger than the original, but there is enough space for it. The capacitor should be soldered from both sides of the board. It will not work if you solder it only from one side. There are three connectors on the power supply board. I think these are optocouplers responsible for the LAN power supply. Place the power supply board back in the housing. Place the power plug back. The black bracket. Secure it with screws. Plug in the white connectors. Secure the board with two screws from the other side. Secure the lamp driver board with two screws. Place the white bracket back in place. I'm ready to connect the main board. Plug in the three main board connectors. Connect the top cover. Plug in the power cable. I have secured the main board with two screws and I am placing the top shielding back. There are two screws holding it. Plug the top cover again and close it. Do not forget the last screw holding the top cover. Let's try out. Hope it will help you to fix your beamer.